The performing self lives on the other side of the continuum. continuum. I've been talking a lot about the performing self already, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time here. When I use the term performing, I don't mean it as in high performance. I mean that life is a stage, and we are actors on the stage putting out a curated image of who we are, like picture Ruth Bassine in her 20s trying to golf, ski, and drinking so much beer unnecessarily, like the, reading sports headlines, performing. We feel pressure to literally change who we are across the seven dimensions. We change our appearance, so it's like, I won't wear my hair curly to work. I'll hide my tattoos and my piercings. What do I do with my religious head covering? We change the way we speak, like we literally sanitize our accents, anglicize our accents, or we, we change our diction. So it's like, I have my Spanglish or my Hinglish or my Ebonics or my uh, mashup of pirate speak, which is cussing, which is one of my favorite things to do. So more on that in a moment, stay tuned. And then I come in to work and it's like literally I am speaking the King's English, I now have to say King's, I used to say Queen's, I wish I didn't have to say any, King's English, and I'm speaking in this very proper form and so that people think that I am so smart and educated and elite and almost to the point where I am pedantic in how I'm speedy, speaking and then afterwards I go home at the end of the night and I'm like, oh my God, bleep, that was an effing exhausting to do. And in fact, for so many people, when I say to introverts, how many of you uh, identify as being introverted in the room? Make some noise. Uh, introverts, make some noise about it being introverted. Could you do that for me for a sec? Thank you. Yeah, amazing. So good. That's good. A way to push the audience to perform. Um, and modeling. Modeling it on the stage right now, right here for you. Okay. So introverts, uh, can I ask you to shout out at the end? So let me take one step back. I fundamentally believe as an extrovert, did you pick that up? That workplace cultures across industries in Canada have a strong preference in favor of extroversion over introversion. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. Now, and introverts feel tremendous pressure to perform as extroverts all day long. Are you with me? Okay, so for the introverts in the room, at the end of the day, after you have been performing like an extrovert all day long, how do you feel? Show us some words. Okay, so I've asked this question literally of like probably hundreds of thousands of people now. The number one words I hear, tired, depleted, drained, and the number one word is exhausted. And the reason why I think I hear the word exhausted is because it is exhausting to be someone we are not all day long.